Hey, hi everybody. Okay, hold on. I have a little timer here. Make sure I don't go over. Okay, so um, a lot of you have probably heard of the GIMP, right? Right? Yeah. Well, there's a lot more open source creative tools than the GIMP. Okay, but I'll tell you just a little bit about GIMP. Um, to, here at the summit, we've been handing out Fedora 17 uh, live USB keys. And Fedora is actually um, the first distro to carry GIMP 2.8, which has a lot of cool features. Um, up here you can see we have um, uh, layer groups and we have a single window interface, which has been a very long um, you know, feature request for GIMP. So please try it out on those USB keys. It's amazing. But other than that, MyPaint is a really cool um, digital painting app. Um, it has a lot of sort of more natural feeling um, brushes that you can use. You can see here I used a watercolor brush to do sort of that style of artwork. Um, and again, in, in Fedora 17, the interface has been updated. It looks really nice, so try that. Um, Krita is another digital painting app. Um, and this one is QT based. And again, it has a lot of really cool sort of natural feeling digital brushes that you can work with. Um, it's got nice little panel docklets that you can do stuff like your palette and uh, customize how your brush interacts and things like that. Again, another great digital painting app that you should check out. Um, Darktable. Darktable is a raw image processing app. You can also use it to um, muck with your JPEG files if you don't have a digital camera that produces raw files. So um, you can do a lot of cool effects. This was a photo that I took. I had the, the shutter held open and I was over the highway trying to get the streaks and um, I screwed something up so I used this to correct it. It worked pretty well. Um, Inkscape. Inkscape is my favorite tool. I spend all day long in this. Hopefully you've heard of it. Um, it's a really good tool for vector illustration. It's somewhat similar to Adobe Illustrator. Um, I actually use it for doing mock-ups, and this is a mock-up that I was working on that I took a screenshot so you can see sort of the workflow there. Um, this is um, external, and this is sort of a, you can see here, it, you can use it to annotate PDFs. It opens up PDFs. If you have a tablet, like a Wacom tablet, you can just sort of doodle on top of the PDF. Or if you have like a form or something that you have to send in and it's one of those dealies, you don't want to have to print it, sign it, rescan it, email it. So just open up external. It works great. Um, this is Calligra Flow. Um, this actually was previously called Kivio, and it was part of the K-Office suite, and K-Office forked off into K-Office and Calligra. Calligra Flow is basically um, sort of like a Visio clone. It works pretty well. It opens up Visio files. It doesn't open up Visio stencil files yet, but there is a script you can use to convert them if you really need to. So Calligra Flow, flow it's really good for doing quick diagrams. Scribus is a, um, it's sort of similar to, um, what's the Adobe equivalent? It's like PageMaker or something like that, right? What is it called? InDesign, that's right. It's kind of like InDesign. We use Scribus for all of the uh, print uh, uh, assets for Fedora. So you know, th this is our uh, sleeves that we produce for Fedora 17. Um, we use it to do prep stuff for the printer. You can use it to do newsletters. Um, you can use it to do um, CMYK and you know, spot color type designs for printers. So it's really good for that. Um, CMYK tool is one of those tools where um, some open source tools do not support CMYK color space. So if you need to prep a file for printers, pop it into CMYK tool and tweak the colors so that your Fedora blue does not come out Fedora purple. Um, Audacity is a really cool um, audio editing tool. So you can bring in a WAV file or MP3 file, start playing around with the amplitude of the file and do some little effects. And here I have loaded actually um, a CC licensed um, song that one of my friends wrote, so that's kind of cool. Um, Hydrogen is a uh, digital drum machine, um, and it's actually, it's pretty cool. It, it comes with a bunch of preloaded patterns, and there's a lot of Creative Commons license patterns on the internet that you can download and load into it. Um, you know, if you're sort of, you, you, can, you can change the time. I think here I have it in one ace time or something like that, but yeah, it's a really nice audio tool. It's good for kids, too. It's really easy for kids to kind of get in there and start making cool sound of music. Mix is a DJing app. Um, I actually know a pro DJ in the UK who uses it on a Mac. It's cross-platform. Um, and you basically take two songs. You, you load songs into either side. You have a jukebox on the bottom. And you can kind of mix between the songs. You can beat match. So if one song's slightly faster than another, it'll slow that one down and speed that one up so they can kind of be going at the same time. Um, I've used it to mix Britney Spears and Nine Inch Nails, and that's not not pretty. Um, <laughs> Blender is a, um, it's, it's amazing. It's a um, 3D modeling app. It does animation. It does rendering, all sorts of stuff. Um, this is a model from uh, Super Tuxcart, which features different um, open source mascots. So this is Wilbur, the uh, GIMP mascot. Um, but yeah, um, Blender it recently had sort of an interface overhaul. 
um, in the 2.5 series. So we've had the 2.5 series in Fedora for at least a couple of releases now, and it's, it's much easier to use. But if you buy a book on it, make sure that it features the 2.5 interface, not the 2.4. You'll be very confused. Um, Synfig Studio, um, this project has made a lot of progress lately. Um, it's sort of similar to um, the Macromedia Flash application where you can do sort of animated 2D um, images. Um, and it, it takes a little bit. Um, it took me maybe 10 minutes to come up with a little bouncy ball animation. So you know, play around with it. There's a lot of good tutorials online. Um, PyTV is a uh, nonlinear video editor. So you know, here I just took a bunch of um, uh, videos with my cell phone camera and stuck them in and put music to them. And it, it worked great. Not, not too bad. Um, Caden Live is another uh, nonlinear video image editor, which is actually has been featured on opensource.com, and there's a lot of really great material on opensource.com about how to use it, so check it out. Um, GNOME Color Manager, um, actually you can also get the open hardware device, the Color Hug, to uh, calibrate the colors on your screen. So, you know, again, your Fedora Blue doesn't look purple on your screen. Um, and the GNOME Color Manager actually is in Fedora 17, and it helps you um, use these devices. Um, the GNOME Wacom controls, again, in Fedora 17, this is a new panel in the GNOME Control Center, and it helps you customize the, um, the feel of your Wacom tablet, and it works really well. Um, SparkleShare is a Git-based Dropbox-like file sharing application. It's really great for designers to share assets. Um, and I just wanted to mention that the Libre Graphics meeting happens every year. Next year, it's going to be in Spain. And this is where you can learn about these sorts of tools, talk to the developers, get awesome tips and tutorials. And it's definitely a conference for you to check out. And I'm sorry, I'm a minute and a half over. <laughs>